guys, this is Henry Neo and you're welcome to my unboxing of the Techno Puvo 3. This is the third installment of the Puvo series and as you well know, the Puvo series are well known for their huge batteries. This one has got 5000 mAh battery, it's a 4G phone with 32GB of internal storage and 3GB of RAM and um, let's just dive into the unboxing and know what this phone offers. If this is the first time you're here to my channel, hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell icon so you're notified when I put new videos up. Let's get started. Alright, we're going to take off the box and see what we have. So first things first, we have the phone. We'll put this aside for now. Next up in the box, we have a card with the same ejector too. Next up we have a specification manual. You have your 12 plus one month warranty card. And you've got a TPU case. And then you got your charger. And this is a five volt, two amp charger. So it's gonna put out about 10 watts of charging power. Then we've got a charging cable. This is a micro USB cable. And finally, we have a pair of earphones. So that's all you get in the box in the Techno Puvo 3. It's time for us to jump in and see what the Techno Puvo 3 actually looks like. All right, guys, so here is the Techno Puvo 3. I'm quickly just gonna take off the back and the front of this. And you can see what the back looks like here. And I'm gonna take off this from the front as well. So I've got the blue variant here, which doesn't look bad at all. Now this is a plastic um, phone, but it feels quite sturdy and it feels heavy in the hand. And I, I want to attribute that weight to the 5000 mAh battery. So behind we've got the fingerprint sensor and the 13 megapixel rear facing camera with an LED flash. And you've got this nice strip down the middle with the techno um, branding over here and the Puvo branding right over here. To the right of the device you've got your power button, your volume rockers and your SIM tray. Now you have to note that the SIM tray in here takes micro SIMs, not nano SIM. And to the left over here you also have your micro SD card slot. To the top we've got a 3.5mm headphone port and to the bottom we've got our speaker grills, our microphone and our micro USB port. So that's all for physical features. To the front, we have that notch and we have a 13 megapixel selfie camera, the speaker grill, and also ambient light sensors. All right, guys, this is the device. I put in my information and I've set it up and um, I'm just gonna run you through the device to show you what it looks like. Now, the first thing I'm going to tell you here is for a fact that I don't like these icons and I don't know why they themed it this way. But I'll be working to change these icons later. I'm pretty sure you can change them on your own. Uh, but that's not a deal breaker here. It's for us to see how well this device performs. Now, this is a 720p screen paired with a 5000 mAh battery, which is just absolutely crazy. I feel like this is gonna take you up to three or four days. And on the packaging that you see over here, you can see they said this is a four, four day um, battery life smartphone. And I hope it lives up to that claim. I'm gonna be testing that out over the next um, couple of weeks before I give you my full review. But from what I can see here, the device is fine. It scrolls smoothly. You've got your shelf here to the right and I don't see anything slowing down over here. It's not very smooth and that can be attributed to the processor in here. It's a, just a bit, a tad bit choppy, but this is a great value phone for what you're getting. By the way, this is running on Android 8.0 Oreo, as you would see here from my settings. Let's just dive into settings here. As you can see from the Android version here, we're running Oreo, it's Android 8.1.0. It's not a bad thing, it feels fine and it works smoothly as of now. So I'm just gonna run you through the specs that this phone comes with. So for the Techno Puvo 3, we have two gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes of internal storage, we have a 13 megapixel front facing camera and a 13 megapixel rear facing camera. It's a 1.28 gigahertz processor. We have 5000 mAh battery, the 720p resolution screen, so you can only play 720p videos 
on this one. It's a 6.2 inch screen and it's an IPS LCD panel. So these are the specs, you also have them on your screen and if you'd like to read through them, you can pause the video at this point and read through the specs. Let's move on to how this device performs in general. So let's play a video and hear what the audio on the Techno Provo 3 sounds like. The phone on the top of the box. We're gonna set this aside for now while we take a look at other items in the box. So in typical fashion, we have our charging brick here, our micro USB cable, and we have a pair of earphones here. And we have our So there you have it, you can see how audio sounds. It's not too bad, it's just a bit teeny in its um, volume. It doesn't have a lot of bass. That's expected from a phone in this price point. Um, for As for videos, you're capped to 720p and you can also pinch to zoom on this one. And when I do pinch to zoom, you can see that we've got a pretty big chin on this device. Unlike it's advertised on the box. Not a deal breaker anyway. I think for anyone getting this device, they'll be absolutely fine with video on it. Um, as for the audio, the audio is pretty okay as well. And for app performance as well, I think that you will be getting a good deal on this device in terms of app performance. So the next thing I'm gonna be trying out on the Techno Provo 3 is the fingerprint unlock speed and the face unlock speed. Um, so let's start up with the fingerprint unlock speeds. So here we go. So that wasn't bad at all in about two times out of all the times I tried it and my finger had just partial contact and it still got unlocked. It took just about a second to unlock the device which isn't bad in my opinion for a device at this level. So let's try the face unlock feature. So the face unlock feature works fine. As I said, my camera is at an odd angle, so I had to twist the phone at an odd angle. So that may have affected the way or the speed of the unlock with face unlock, but it works just fine. Now let's take a look at the cameras on the Techno Provo 3. I'm gonna take a you know, couple of pictures in the rear camera and the selfie camera as well. So just grab my little dinosaur here. Pretty impressive. Shutter speed on this phone feels very fast. So I'm just gonna scroll through some of the pictures here. And they look decent. They're not the best pictures out there, but they look decent, crisp. Posting this on Instagram will look really nice. I would need to try this out in public places to see how well it performs outside, but from initial impressions, this looks really good. I'm very impressed with the camera here. All right guys, so I have some selfie shots here and honestly, I'm impressed with what Techno has done. Selfie shots look really good as well. They're not the best, but they look good. I mean, my, my house is really very dark now. I've only got my shooting lights on and I'm impressed with what this has produced. So we'll be looking through the selfie camera and the camera in our full review to see how well it performs. Well, from initial impressions, I am honestly impressed with the Techno Puvo 3. Techno has really improved on the Puvo series. There were a lot of complaints from the first two installments of the Puvo series. A lot of people had lots of complaints. The only part where people were kind of impressed with this device was with the battery life. And if I must say, I'm just feeling something right now. The phone is getting kind of hot. So I don't know what's going on guys, but the top half of this phone after using the cameras just got pretty hot in my opinion. And I hope that's not gonna be a problem. But as I said, I'll be doing a thorough review of this device over the next couple of weeks and I'll be giving you a full lowdown of how I feel about this device. 
if it's good for you to pick up or not or if it's something that you should pass on but from initial impressions software wise it's really good battery wise it's really good i mean build quality top notch as well but from that little battery thing now i don't know i can't comment on that right now but i'll be giving you that in my full review as for pricing you can see that on your screen right now and you can pick this up from stores nationwide guys thanks for watching this unboxing and initial impressions of the techno Pulvo 3 i think it's a pretty decent device for the value it's going for and it's for those people who want a device that just goes all day without having to charge their phone this one i can confirm will last you two days on its 5000 mAh and 720p screen and you should be absolutely satisfied with this device thanks for watching this video if you have any question leave them in the comment section below and i will try my best to get back to all your questions until i come your way again next week peace